I'm a box owner because I'm recently separated and um, the feelings that were inside of me were things I'd never experienced before. So I didn't know how to start to think about them and how to start to unravel what was going on for me. Um, and I needed help. And um, I, was, um, I was given Divorce in a Box as a gift. Um, and I can honestly say it was my lifeline um, and has been for the last three weeks. Can you show us what's in the box? I can, yes. That's beautiful actually. And it's great to hold something. I, 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 for me that was really important to have something tangible that I could pick up and put down and be in control of when everything else inside me felt out of control. So in the box, and um, this is the first thing that I went to, um, because having not done this before, I didn't know where I was. I had no framework of understanding for my emotions. Um, so every journey needs a good nap. This is the framework with which everything else hangs off of, <laughs> um, and as absolutely invaluable first step. And I thought, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, there is actually a map for this kind of stuff. I'm not alone. Um, other people have been through this, and there's something here that can guide me. That was tremendously important. I think without that overriding framework, I would have continued to feel lost. So that's what this provided me with. If I needed to delve deeper, there, were other, there was other information in here that allowed me to do that. So as long as I had my map, I could then go into the rest of it um, whenever I needed to, to get the support I needed at that time, whether it be my well-being, whether it be my kids that were going through the, through um, the, a, a painful separation, um, or whether it be um, legal advice. Um, and one of the first things I did was use my vouchers with, uh, with uh, what can I say? Yes, you can. With Francine Kay, um, who has, um, has been absolutely amazing. Um, and has revolutionised uh, this whole process for me. So this box enabled me to find that help. And what else is in the box? Okay, so you've got map, and, and then there are the vouchers, which is the second thing I went to once I'd looked at the map and I had that contact. The vouchers that um, enable you to actually get some practical, pragmatic help that you don't have to pay for because it's all in the box professionals who really know what they're doing within each of the area of the stages of recovery. That enable you to go and talk to people to find out a bit more about what they do, how they do it and why it might be beneficial for you. Is there any uh, obligation then to, to pay them and use their services afterwards? Absolutely not and I haven't experienced that at all. Um, it, 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 it really is. Um, um, Everyone I've spoken to has been tremendously generous with their advice and there, hadn't, there hasn't been any sort of hard sell or anything. I've just been able to, to take what is given to me and use it in the way that is right for me. And if you hadn't been able to uh, test out the professional services that, that the vouchers are for, would you have known that they, they could be useful to you? No. I would have had no idea because I've not done this before. So I had the framework and then I had... The, the taster sessions, if you like, that gave me a practical feel of, of the kind of help that was out there so I could make an informed choice. And what else is in there? Okay, so, and then we have Nitty Gritty Legal and Financial. Tremendous sense of security that when I do get to that point, it's here um, and it will be used as and when. So I know it's there and that's a feeling of safety for me. And when I get to that point, there it is. And the well-being and parenting, which I have dipped into, which is you know, very important um, for a number of reasons. Surprisingly, because of being able to get the support from Divorce in a Box, um, I have been able to use this, or we have used this as a family, in my relationship with my children, as an opportunity to show them how very, very difficult, painful situations can be managed productively and adaptively. And I think that's been one of the most powerful um, uh, rewards of this whole process, ironically. 
yeah. but I've been able to model that behaviour for my children um, and they've been able to see me cry and I've been able to explain to them where I'm at and they've uh, and I've been able to own that. I haven't pushed it on them and, um, and it's been a tremendously um, strengthening relationship building experience for me and my children. We're closer now because I have it. never ever experienced so much pain in my life and my life hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. Um, I, I was shuffling around, I couldn't eat for about 10 days, I was on protein shakes because I simply couldn't, I, I just couldn't have any food in me, I, I literally couldn't swallow, I mean I was in so much pain, so much pain. At one point I had to go to A&E on a stretcher because I was so desperate for somebody to put me out of my pain, I wanted to crawl out of my skin. And did you find that what's out there for most people is adequate when they're no, in that situation? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's drugs. You go to A&E and they give you drugs. I'm um, thank goodness that my dear friend bought me this because this has, has, has transformed me. This is why I'm sitting here able to talk about this now. It's not, be, it's not because of going to A&E and them mm. you know, giving me diazepam. This, I'm here now being able to talk about this because of this box. Um, is there anything else in the box? Yes. There's loads in the box. This is something I've yet to really explore, um, but I will do. Um, and I'm sure there's a tremendous amount on there that I will find useful. And I think that's important, actually, because the box for me, I really do feel that it's there for me. This is here for me, and I'm in control of it, and I can use it flexibly as and when I need to. This is probably my next stage, actually. What things on there do you think you're most likely to use, first of all? Meditations. The meditations, because I think that's really important uh, as a sort of a, a daily exercise just to keep reinforcing and topping up those, those, those positive feelings about yourself, the, you know, trusting in what's happening, and um, um, so, so yes, and I think that's a daily thing, so I think that's, that's what I'm going to be doing next. And you hear people say, um, if you look after yourself, the rest will fall into place. But how do you start to do that? How do you start to look after yourself when, when the world is a completely different experience? Nothing feels the same anymore. So um, this enabled me to start thinking about that and to start looking after myself um, so that I could, I could support myself and be there for the other people in my life that are important. But I couldn't be there for them unless I'd looked after myself. And how long was your marriage, or is your marriage? Because it still exists, of course. 17 years. And is this, a uh, final question, is this a box just for women? No, absolutely not. It's the great equaliser. <laughs> it's the great equaliser. It knows not race or, or creed or religion or sex or age. <laughs> you know, the, 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 this is for everybody and anybody. Um, and it's been an invaluable framework of understanding for me. Thank you very much, Sam, for sharing that.